Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is your weekly love reading. It is a general love reading um, for the sign of Virgo. If you're interested in a private reading with me, um, otherwise I really do appreciate you being here um, and joining me for your weekly reading. So we'll see what comes up in the cards. Um, I'll be using two different decks, uh, six cards Virgo to see what's coming up for the week. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see Virgo. What's coming up around you? Okay, there could be endings or the past straight away coming forward with the death card. Um, but interestingly, the card of loss is reversed. So there might be an ending or something you thought ended um, actually hasn't ended at all. Okay, it's still, it's still going. It's still happening. Okay, you have the full. Um, the, I feel like the full. Uh, it can be an Aries, and then we see the bird that's sort of on the stump. Um, straight away, I'm connecting this to the death card. It's like you're a fool to think things have finished in a way. Um, Virgo or someone around you feels foolish in thinking things may have finished between the both of you because like I said the, the the card of loss and looking at how a situation has maybe failed or you know you thought would fail um, actually hasn't or won't so I think if some of you do have some sort of ending and you feel like it's final um, I'm not so sure that that's the case because I feel like with the Four of Chalice, this is something unexpected happening or a turn of events happening that you didn't think would. So it's almost like a message of things aren't done yet. It's not over. Um, it, this isn't the end somehow. Um, look, it can be the past coming in. So for some of you, you may have an ex who's not completely over you. Um, they've been thinking about you for quite some time and they may want to pick things up again because the fool takes flight. The bird is here. Um, the bird is a messenger. So some of you may be hearing from this person. Um, I often in, uh, associate the death card Scorpio energy with intuition. Um, I don't know if this is Scorpio season maybe coming up. But I feel like uh, with the fool down here, you may hear from someone from the past, like a message, um, an inbox, an email, uh, a, a phone call. You're receiving some sort of message. But even if it's not in the physical realm, um, Virgo, you may receive an energetic message, like a spiritual message, um, a dream, a feeling, a hunch. You know, it's amazing how often we get these messages um, and if we really tune into them and listen we can see um, that they have come to mean something or it's almost like the universe or our higher self is guiding us um, to to what's ahead to what's potentially um, ahead here for us Virgo so I think this is a sign I think there's a message here that it's not all over um, the two of ones and the three of ones is reversed. Now, normally the two of ones, the three of ones, this is about having your options open, being open minded, moving on to different things, you know, looking at other other alternative means, etc. But both of these cards are reversed, which would make me believe that just when you thought you want to consider other options or other people, other relationships, um, it's almost like the universe is going to come in, swoop in there and say, no, don't do it. Not yet. So it's almost like you don't have options. Now, if this is like an ex coming back into the picture and it's someone that maybe they left you for, or um, maybe they've been like a bachelor or a bachelorette, they've been out, they've been dating. It could indicate that right now then they're, they're, they're not open. Um, they're not open to that. So it could be like they're removing their options because this is thinking very seriously. I often associate death with a major revelation in our lives or a major change romantically. Um, and I think that's happening here for you um, because you do have death, but you also have new beginnings, new starts. Uh, we see the sign of cancer, so it could be someone under the sign of cancer as well coming forward. Um, or it could be that you're having an epiphany over someone from your past Virgo. 
And it's almost like you're thinking, maybe your way of thinking is, oh, it's not as bad as it seems. Um, or what they did wasn't as bad as what I made it out to be. Maybe there was an over-exaggeration uh, for some of you, okay, either from your end or from theirs. But I see the ending or what you thought was an ending, what you thought was, you know, that's it, it's done. Um, it pick, Things could pick back up again. The bird, the bird takes flight. But it's almost like, notice how he's in the middle of nowhere. So I think a lot of you are in a, some sort of limbo stage. Something hasn't completely ended, um, but it's still not 100% what it once was, Virgo. So for some of you, you're sort of like... Um, in this limbo stage, like limbo stage of love, you're, it's not it's not over, but it's not what it once was. So I feel like you know it's he's in like the middle of nowhere. This this bird has perched on this stump. Well, it looks like in the middle of nowhere. Um, but there's 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 safety here. You know, we see the buoy. There's there's it's almost like a symbol of safety, or it's a symbol of. It's, it's a reassuring message, the fact that the stump is here, but if anything was to happen or someone did come across this stump, there's, there's a buoy here. So there's something of safety. So there's, um, what I want to say is that it feels like it could be a reassuring message, Virgo, some, somehow. So um, it's almost like a message of reassurance in love or a, a sign that it's not over, maybe, because I did mention intuition. Um, maybe it's a sign you wanted to find, wanted to seek Virgo. Maybe it's a sign that you weren't necessarily ready for, but maybe pay attention to what your inner self is, is, is telling you uh, this upcoming week, because I think there's something here. But I do believe you'll receive a message for a lot of you. Um, and suddenly it may, you know, make you drop other options, other other people, other connections for whatever this is, because this is huge. The death card is massive. It's it's a really big thing here. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of big things happening for you this week in love. I will leave your reading at that though, Virgo. So thank you again kindly for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave a like, share or subscribe if you have enjoyed this content. Otherwise, we shall be catching up very, very soon. So take care and bye for now.